Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, hi, Sean. Hi, Dr. Phil. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Hey, thanks for having us. Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm so excited to talk with you guys about hurricane season. Woo. Sean, you'll start <laughs> us off with the insurance aspect of hurricane, and then we'll talk to Dr. Phil. Sounds I'm good. Sorry, i got to echo. John, tell us about hurricane season in 2019. Well, in 2019, from an insurance perspective, what we're seeing uh, really is an increase in, in severity of storms uh, year over year. In fact, uh, if you compared uh, the insurance loss costs of uh, the 80s up until present time, you'd see a 660% increase in terms of insurance losses uh, that are occurring. Uh, what this means is that people are, are living in areas that are more prone to natural disasters. And, as, and also our economies are growing in these areas. And as the economies grow, we have more people, uh, we have b bigger economies, and they're going to be costlier. So it's important for people to understand that they are, we are living in more and more in areas that are riskier. When you're living in a risk-prone area, you want to focus on being resilient. Insurance is a good first step towards being resilient. Uh, and then there are other actions that you can take as well. Um, but what we encourage people to do this time of year is really take the hurricane season as a indicator that you need to look at what type of insurance coverage you have. Uh, there's something called a declarations page, which is a one page right on top of your policy where you can understand what's my deductible, what type of coverage do I need, what type of coverage do I want, uh, do I want to have, some, if I have my home uh, prone to a natural disaster, do I want to just repair it or do I need it to be replaced? There are costs associated with all of this, but we encourage customers to look at their coverages and make sure they've got the right coverage for the type of disaster that they're prone to. Okay, uh, I agree with all of that as a homeowner. You want us to make better choices, but those choices are also so um, exorbitant. Well, I think one thing that's important to understand, and there are scientific studies to prove that for every dollar that you spend on making yourself more resilient, you're going to save upwards of seven if and when you have to rebuild. And that's an investment that's important to make. Um, understanding that, that affordability is, is something that's, that's on everyone's mind. Um, but when disaster hits, you want to be sure that you have the opportunity to rebuild in a way that's cost effective and best for you and your family. Um, that is that is investment we think is worth making um, because if you compare that to what many misperceptions out there think is a government uh, a government bailout after a disaster, it's simply not there in the way that people perceive. In fact, if you look at uh, an area like Houston after Hurricane Harvey where there was a significant flood damage, uh, the government uh, uh, the government fee that they they were received if somebody actually qualified for it was around four thousand dollars. If they actually had the flood insurance, they they had an on average of a hundred thousand dollars in terms of claims that were paid. So there's a significant difference in that investment that you're making. Dr. Phil, you're with the Insurance Information Institute and Research. What do you add to this conversation? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, hurricane season starts June 1st, but even though it's six months long, it really doesn't ramp up until about this time, in about mid-August. Um, and the peak of the season goes from about now through mid-October. So now is the time that you really want to have a plan in place um, and know what you're going to do if storms do threaten. Um, and it's important um, time to basically realize that, you know, even regardless of any seasonal hurricane outlooks that come out saying, you know, above or below average season, the key is that you need to be prepared the same every hurricane season because it just takes that one storm near you to make it an active season. I, I agree. I so agree. Guys, is there a place online for my audience to go and get more information? Absolutely. Uh, iii.org uh, is the Insurance Information Institute's uh, website. We encourage people to go. It's filled with content that helps you, you know, understand how insurance works and also ways to take other protective measures for yourself and making yourself manage your risk and become more resilient. And you guys are in Miami, Florida today, which is known for hurricanes, correct? That's right, yes. Okay. All right, be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. 
it allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.